behind this big door, we're going to uh, assemble the uh, LOSPA wind tunnel model that we're going to use for the plat wind tunnel test in the LLF. The specific model that we're going to test is a uh, Dassault business jet named Falcon. We will first assemble the uh, powered nacelles that, we, that have to be calibrated in our calibration facility. We're calibrating the mass flow values and the thrust values to be used later on during the wind tunnel test for thrust bookkeeping purposes. The whole model build-up will take about four weeks. It is important that uh, we perform different kind of tests with this model. Aerodynamic test together with a turbine power simulator and ground effects and also aeroacoustic testing. Uh, what stands out in this model is the, the typical shape of the tail, this, this U-tail, which is uh, specifically designed uh, with the acoustic content of this test in mind. Uh, we have chosen DNW because this is a unique facility to perform uh, ground testing, uh, ground testing effects. Um, on this particular aircraft, it is important to know exactly the impact of the jet exhaust on the, on the uh, tail and also uh, the, combi the combination of uh, the, the configuration, the jet exhaust together with the ground effect. And, since we have a huge model, uh, we need a, a large facility and DNW can provide us uh, a large uh, test section together with a, a moving belt which can move at, at the same velocity as the flow. The, the whole work we are doing here with this model is part of a, of a, a huge uh, project which is called Clean Sky. Uh, this project is uh, founded by the European Commission and uh, this model was uh, designed and manufactured in the framework of Clean Sky. So we had the support, financial support from the European Commission to design and manufacture this model together with uh, three companies in Europe, two in the UK, which are ARA and F uh, Future AM, and INCAS in Romania. We're now in the control room of the DNW LLF and we have started with the uh, performance of the plat wind tunnel test. We are making good progress, we have a good productivity and the model is doing very well. Um, we are just in the middle of a long configuration change when we want to install the horizontal tail plane on a vertical tail plane. Uh, we started the test with a U-shaped tail and now we are installing the, uh, the traditional uh, cross tail, traditional for falcons then we will be able to make comparisons between the U-tail, this uh, innovative tail, and the uh, traditional tail. Uh, you can see underneath the model, you can see the floor moving. It is our moving belt, which is the most realistic simulation of the landing and takeoff situation. The main goal of these tests is to, to determine the, the aerodynamic characteristics of this model. Uh, we want to have a uh, complete characterization of the noise sources on this model uh, so that we can improve uh, the quality of, uh, of the noise. We will uh, have the, the model installed in the center of this uh, big hall um, in OpenJet and uh, we will have several configurations to be tested with and without TPS, TPS alone and uh, we will then be able to characterize the, the noise sources, the most important noise sources on this aircraft. <laughs>